I remember when I was a kid, I always took on things that were way too big for me. You know, when I, science fair came around, I was going to, you know, build a nuclear reactor. Something out of cardboard, by the way. It, it, and I got it to work. I kind of blew up the living room, but that's beside the point. And my father or my teachers would always say to me, don't try to solve world hunger. Whatever you do, don't try to solve world hunger. Now what that meant, and you've all probably heard it as well, what that meant is don't take on a problem that's too big to solve within the constraints that you're given. Don't even try to do it. World hunger is the impossible problem to solve. Don't do it. And I heard it my whole life. When I joined Foxborough, I heard it again. Don't take on world hunger. Let's, take, let's compartmentalize the things we do, get them done, get them out, and move on to the next thing. Well, you know, the more I thought about this, and the more I thought about the value of automation, it became clear to me that automation and controls applied effectively can solve the great challenges that the world has today. Too often, we're so embedded in our day-to-day -day job, we're so focused on getting our plant running, keeping our plant running, getting the next project out the door, whatever it is, we're so focused on that, we forget what our value is. Our value in the world is to take on these big challenges. It's control theory, it's real-time control theory that's required to solve the big problems of the world. Now, don't get me wrong, I know we have to be paid along the way while we're doing this, so we have to focus on our daily jobs, but it's important for each and every one of us to keep in mind who we are, what we contribute to the world, what our value is to the world. We should be taking these challenges on, and what are they? What are the challenges that we're working on right now? Everyone in this room is working on some aspects of these. First one is energy. It's interesting because as I started thinking about this, I thought about it as a series of dominoes. As a kid, you always stack up the dominoes. You hit the first one and the stack goes rolling down. It's that first one. If you solve that first one, the rest of the stack goes down nicely. And you can think of it this way, world energy. We are absolutely involved at every aspect of making energy low cost and available everywhere in the world. And this is critical. I mean, I know that it's politically incorrect today. I know a lot of people talk about, oh, we got to change to this energy. We have got to make energy available everywhere in the world inexpensively. That's our job. And we do it. And by the way, we do a good job at this. You look at an awful lot of the projects we work on, they're focused on creating energy and getting energy available throughout the world. Why is this important? Because if you don't solve this problem, you're not going to solve the rest. We have to solve world energy before we can move on to the next problem. Well, what's the next problem? From my point of view, it's water. Do you realize that half a million children, half a million children die every year in the world from bad water, from some disease or lack of water or whatever it is, this is inexcusable. This is inexcusable. Two thirds of our world is covered with water. We know how to take salt water and make clean, fresh water out of it. We know how to do it. Do you realize that in Dubai, which is high desert, there's a green golf course? There's a beautiful, they play an a PGA golf tournament, the Dubai Club. There's a green golf course. If you walk off that golf course, you're in desert. How did it get green? They desalinated. Why? Because they have energy. They took the energy, they desalinated, they have a green golf course in Dubai. Look, if you can build a green golf course in Dubai by having water available, you can create food in Africa. There's no excuse for us not feeding, not creating getting water, clean water, everywhere in the world. And if you get clean water everywhere in the world, you solve world hunger, if you have the inclination. It's time to take on world hunger. And we're right in the middle of this. So when you start thinking about what is the value of what you do, think about it altruistically as well as your day-to-day -day work.